Hey guys, we are going to do another pick a card and we are going to see will your person ever tell you how they feel about you. As you guys can see, we have six options. Timestamps will be inside of the description as well as ways to book with me, follow me and all that other information. All right, so we got option one, two, three, four, five, and six that you guys can choose from. I'm going to give you guys a little bit of time to choose over your option, and then I'm going to begin the reading. All right, so by now, you guys should have had enough time to choose. I'm going to begin the reading. Hey, option one. So if you chose this option, which is M, will your person ever tell you how they feel about you? So we have a straightaway yes. Yes, this person will tell you how they feel about you once they feel like it is time to tell you. So we have, um, I get upset at the thought of you loving someone else. So for some of you, this can be your baby mother or your baby father. Maybe you share a child with this person. If you don't, it doesn't really matter. Um, that's just the energy that I'm feeling like for some of you, this may be someone that you have a child with. There could definitely be some family here and I feel like what you are coming to this reading to ask is, will this person ever confess how they feel about you now? You feel like this person's feelings has changed, all right? Used to be very fiery, now it's a little bit cold and they could be a little bit distant because of the something that happened or some things that constantly happen or something like that. But yes, this person will definitely confess to you how they feel about you um i feel like this person is going to want to have like a little set down they may drink a little bit before they do it or smoke a little weed or something like that before they express themselves because i feel like however whatever they want to tell you or however they want to do it they do want to be out of their body they don't they definitely want to feel like out of their body because this person isn't really the type of person who likes to talk about you know very emotional things they don't like that they like to they like surface level all right this person isn't a very deep person you know it could have you could have been around them for a long time and their uh love language is very different from from yours they don't need to hear it nor say it for you to know that they love you so they're definitely going to tell you how they feel they just have to be you know kind of under the influence when they do it because they want to tell you um if you guys have a family or something this person want to tell you how they felt like how you could have broke their heart or you let them down how you disappointed them you disappointed this person in some way something you've done had disappointed them but they never said nothing because again this person is a type of person that kind of like they don't get in their feelings they brush things off like it doesn't matter it doesn't hurt me big old macho man or macho girl and it just doesn't hurt but this person is feeling kind of hurt and they they definitely do plan to tell you how they feel and, and how they may want you back and want to work on their family with you if you guys don't have a family this person just sees you as somebody that is family or somebody that they will want a family with um but i feel like for most of you you have a family with this person this could be your baby father or your baby mother and things between you guys have changed but this person is saying like i'm your i'm your friend i want to be closer to you so you guys used to be friends where you guys could have possibly told each other everything but then you start to notice that they start holding back from you they start holding things back from you and um yeah they're going to tell you this person is going to tell you that um they're going to tell you that uh They're going to tell you that they want to work things out. They want to be closer to you. All right. So, yeah, if you guys chose option number one, your person is definitely going to tell you how they feel. Now, 
if you guys chose option number two. Will your person tell you how they feel? All right, yeah, this person is going to tell you how they feel, but it's going to be through signs. So it's going to be through music. You're going to definitely know it's coming from them. It's going to be through music. It's going to be through um, books. It's going to be through you going outside, possibly seeing a bird or something, see two birds kissing. And sorry, y'all. And you just think about them. That is how this person is going to tell you how they feel about you. They want you to know if this is your twin flame that you guys have decided um, while writing your guys' contract that you guys will remain friends in this lifetime. So they want you to know that they love you. Um, they want friendship with you. You guys are going to... You guys are going to, sorry, y'all. <laughs> you guys are going to end up being besties, best friends, all right? And you may want, you know, romance from this person, but yeah, they're going to tell you that they want friendship. So for option number two, yeah, your person is going to tell you how they feel about you. Now, option number three, if you chose this option, is your person going to tell you how they feel about you? Um, This person is going to tell you, but they're going to do it where they're buying you things. Probably they offer you something like a key to their house or like you're going to get to come around them more you guys treat this person like they're a celebrity or something like i feel like this person may have a lot of groupies or they they may yeah they may have a lot of groupies they could be like in a public eye and i feel like you guys don't get that much time with them this person is going to express how they feel about you through gifts like they're going to gift you with time they're going to give you more time like some time that they may not even have so they may take off of work for you something like that they may um they may buy you something i feel like they're going to buy you something they may start showing you off like things like that they're going to show you that they love you and care about you through like gifts all right and um they may even, you know, post you on their story like, this is my love or some people, you know, can't be replaced and it may have you or it could have like some type of quote or something. Only you guys know what it means. Like, let's say you send them something and they repost it and they kind of put it in a way where you will kind of know that they're talking about you like you you will know like you're going to know that this person is talking about you it's like something like that like this person is going to start kind of showing you off and it could have been a situation where uh for a while they either wouldn't commit to you or they wouldn't show you off and you know that is that is probably why you want to know will they ever you know confess or you know tell you how they feel about you and they will this person is just going to show it rather than, you know, telling you, which is a good thing. You know, sometimes showing it is better than saying it because you have that proof that you need. So, you know, it's not all in your head. Now, um, when somebody says something, you know, sometimes they could be lying. You know what I'm saying? So you just never know. But when they show you that they they love you shit, sometimes they could be lying in too, honestly. But um, you're just going to know that this person cares about you like you're just going to know that like without a shadow of a doubt you're going to know that this person cares about you and um you're not going to have to doubt the connection anymore like you're not going to doubt them anymore you're not going to doubt what this person t tell you or told you or something like that because they were really hot and cold with you. I feel like this person was really hot and cold with you where they couldn't really decide if they wanted to be with you. And it could have definitely been due to like them getting all type of attention. But when they really sat down and snapped out of it, 
they see that you are that person you are their true love and they will never it says i will never treat you the way i did in the past so yeah they they plan to treat you a lot different so they're going to show you by treating you different giving you more time showing you off calling you more if that was a problem whatever was the problem they're going to fix it by you know just correcting their actions so yeah this person will definitely tell you how they feel about you all right it's this option number four so you chose this option option number four so will your person tell you how they feel about you all right so yes yes and more yes yes this person will definitely tell you how they feel this person has made up their mind they're not going to tell you how they feel they're going to ask you out this person is going to ask will you be mine they're they're ready if you are if you are ready to be with this person this person is also ready to be with you if you are ready to be with them they're ready to be with you because they could have had had a moment in their life where they wasn't they were non-committal all right they didn't want to commit to you they didn't want to commit to nobody they just wanted to do whatever they wanted to do now this person is going to be more committal they want you to know that they will not be perfect because they do not have all the details figured out meaning i don't know you know what we have to do to be together i don't know if i can like move for you move with you um i don't know if something is going to actually work something here they don't know if it's going to actually actually work like i don't know if we're going to be forever but i'm willing to try i'm really i'm i'm really willing to take that risk with you this is what this person is saying i'm i'm ready to take that risk with you so yeah they're going to some of y'all may wear y'all hair like this or your person may wear their hair like this where it's like down like hers because it's also kind of like that in here i think but anyways um it's gonna it's gonna feel it's gonna feel weird because it's gonna feel like wow like where is this coming from like how are you acting like this out of nowhere like it's just gonna feel it's just gonna feel very weird you're gonna probably feel like shocked when they do this like this can be someone just calling you up some of y'all could be sent 12 12 i think i just seen it but some of them um may just call you up and say hey like i want to be with you let's be together you're gonna be like whoa what happened because i feel like you want to be with this person but you kind of feel like this will never happen so yeah this person is going to tell you um how they feel about you they're going to tell you that they're ready to actually date you and they don't know if it's going to be a forever thing but they're willing and ready to take that risk with you so let's see if you guys chose option four now option five which is b so if you guys chose b will your person tell you how they feel about you this person is going to send you signs they may send you signs through bees actual bees somebody can also be allergic to bees or something like that they could also want a baby with this i want to share a child with you um what you said what you said ain't adding up to how I feel you feel. So this is a situation where there's two soulmates denying how they feel about each other. So your person could have been denying how they feel about you. 
or you're denying how you feel about them or you both are denying how you feel about each other either way it goes you are being told to wait and listen to your intuition because you are going to know that this person care about you through your through your intuition they may not come out and say it but if you have patience with them eventually you are going to share a child with this person so you guys may just be getting it on where this is a friends with benefit type of situation and um through the child you're going to see how they feel about you for some of you it may happen sooner than you having a baby by them and for some of you it's going to happen when you have a baby by them that's when you're going to see how this person feel about you but you're being told to kind of weigh it out because they actually do care about you and, and you are their soulmate and you guys will share children you will share a family with this person but it's not going to happen it may not happen the way you want it to happen and it's not going to happen in the time frame that you want things to happen and this is why you are being told to wait and then with um what you saying added up to how i feel you feel it's like you can feel like this person care a lot about you but they're not saying it like they're they're denying it they're rejecting you or something like that and that can be why you want to know will this person ever confessed it because you know they care but you don't have proof and you just need that proof so what i see for you guys is that yes this person is going to tell you how they feel about you but it's going to be in a different type of way um this person is really shy with their words so they may just say hey i care about you or i want you or, i want to be with you like they're real scared to tell you this they could be scared of what what other people think or something like that but they definitely want to create a baby with you they want to share a child with you and um i feel like you guys are going to do more talking telepathically for a while before you guys actually talk so you may have full-blown conversations with this person you know and they may deny what you know to be true and that's where a lot of confusion is going to come in at but i do feel that you will definitely um see how they feel about you but it may not be in a way that you would have wanted it to be that's the only difference okay so that is for you guys if you guys chose option number five all right now if you guys chose option number six which is this car will your person tell you how they feel about you i think of you when i think about my awakening things are moving too fast for this person um i'm looking for a place to call home for some of them they may be actually looking for a home they may you know have a situation where they need somewhere to go um this person is going to bum rush you with their their feelings for you not only of their feelings for you but their feelings about everything this person, if they have been away from you, they have been doing a lot of learning. Like they've been, they've been sent signs about you. They've been sent so much stuff. They can't even keep up with all the signs and synchronicities they have been seeing about you regarding you. Um, this is somebody that you guys may not be with, or you may not have no contact with this person, but this person is going to bum rush you. Like where you at? I'm about to come see you or can I come see you or I'm just going to pull up or I was in an area or something like that. When I tell you, they're going to bum rush you with all their emotions. Like this is stuff that kept them from loving you. This is stuff they're still, um, you know, holding on to from other situations. This is, you know, how their life have, has been since they met you, how they can't stop thinking about you how when they weren't around you they just wanted to be around you how they want a family with you how you are so special how damn i can't believe you really let me come back around you like this person is going to pour their heart out 
like out of all these pals no no cap i really felt like they were kind of like you know straight to the point basic this person here though this person is going to they may and that may be why you guys chose the card because they may just pull up on you i'm pulling up on you <laughs> put some respect on my name <laughs> like they pulling up and they just like i ain't gonna lie like you know i've been going through this this and a third and all i can think about is you i'm telling you i was just like this person may smoke they like i was just smoking uh with so so and so and i could have swore i seen you and i'm not even lying i don't know what all this mean but i feel like you know you are really special to me because i couldn't get over i couldn't get over you you were like the only person like it's gonna sound like a whole bunch of bull to the shit i promise y'all it's about to sound like a whole lot of bullshit but this person is honest this is really how they honestly feel you gonna be like this lying motherfucker like you gonna be sitting there you may be sleepy as hell coming to the door and they gonna be like hella like this person i don't know what you've done to this person where you could have blocked them or you just don't talk to them or something but when i tell you when they see your face they just gonna like light up like you just gonna see a total different side of them and they gonna just gonna light up like damn i never thought i'll see you again like they're gonna just want to like talk to you like it may be where this person just high off something and they're just up talking they just want to talk to you like i ain't gonna lie like i miss you like no no i'm like for real could you listen to me please like i miss you like this person fears losing you forever or something like that because it's like this it's this like i'm getting a vision of y'all just really just being like like what's up like you know yeah i get it. like you yeah you could come over or whatever like for some reason you listen into this reading but you at the same time you kind of like you kind of had it with them and i feel like they know that so it's like when 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 you see them they're going to be like like they just seen a pot of gold when they see your face and it's going to be like they just constantly looking in your face and looking in your eyes and just like I ain't gonna lie like since i haven't talked to you something 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 and blase blase and y'all just not gonna be able to really like grasp all the shit that this person is saying you know i'm like huh like mm, all right you know like you're not gonna believe them but i'm seeing that it's really true and that's why it's like it's nothing for you to worry about because they're they're going to express how they feel and it's going to be so deep it's going to be deeper than you would have wanted like really it's going to be very deep what is this person about to express to you but it's going to be deep <laughs> they're coming through to have that heart to heart like it's going to be deep even though make the effort is in the reverse like this person's conversation is this conversation is happening very soon they're driving like to your house like as this video played for some of y'all you're gonna hear from this person within a few hours like you may really hear from them within a few hours and with this pay attention to the red flags it's like this is how you're gonna feel you're gonna feel like this person is deceptive you're gonna feel like they're lying like you're not gonna trust them but i don't feel like you can't trust them they're going to feel very attracted to you and it, they're going to be like this on you like shit on rice like it's going to be like they're just staring at you and looking at you for some of them they're going to be acting like this because they actually do need a place to to stay so they may be in a situation but i don't feel like that is where all of this is coming from this person is actually this person is actually um feeling this way like they're actually feeling like like i have like i can't even explain it like they're just gonna feel like damn i just 
like want you like i need you i don't want to stay away from you and it could have been because for a lot of them maybe they didn't love themselves at first or something like that or they was having some type of issues or something like that and this person at first they probably didn't know you like that and now they feel like they do so wedding in reverse they may not be ready for something really really serious like a wedding but when i tell you you this person is gonna scare you like they're gonna <laughs> come out real strong and you guys aren't gonna believe like you're not gonna believe what you're hearing okay so that's what i got for you guys hope you guys enjoyed this reading until next time